Welcome to our talk. My guest is Gauthier Pop in Paris. Our topic is reality. Now, I think that should be cause to have agreements to disagree. Enjoy. Gauthier, welcome. Hello. Hi, René. Happy to see you. I am very happy to see you. And uh, dear viewers, I have met Gautier only, what, two, three weeks ago, the first time we briefly talked on a different matter. And then uh, I thought, this is so exciting, speaking to a young gentleman. And we uh, found some kind of kindredness, um, uh, likeness of the minds. And I thought I'd like to explore that on the topic of reality. Uh, but why do it in private? So I'm looking forward to our conversation, Gautier. How do you feel? Yeah, I'm feeling very, very happy and um, happy to discover this this uh, experience you, you, you built in. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, dear viewers, let me say a few words about Gautier. Uh, he is a full-time Reiki teacher and practitioner with his own and successful Reiki school in Paris. Um, he is a true Parisian. He grew up there. Um, you know, with such young age, to be a full-time and a successful Reiki teacher can be somewhat of a surprise to some of us. But then um, it may be surprising to some of us However, it is most certainly very confidence-inspiring, at least for me, for the future, um, to see such young generations committed to a cause like um, uh, Gautier is with his school. Before that, he had a 10-year career in the music industry as a sound engineer. And actually, you know, Gautier, I just uh, received an... Just, just before this, let's see whether this works. I received something which, oh. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, it may, there we go. I did not talk on that one. <laughs> it was not me. Well, I am uh, afraid I can't show you. Um, I'm not not so savvy with the technology and with hip hop, but my son Pablo, um, he was just in the studio for like uh, uh, yesterday evening for like six hours or even more, Whoa. because uh, he organized a hip hop one year. It's the biggest hip hop event in Switzerland, actually, uh, is in is in the radio uh, studio, and uh, he he is of course also uh, involved in the in the business you had your career in, and I know you you you're planning to relaunch your musical career. You said it before we yeah, started. I am. I am right now. It's it's very very exciting because <clears throat> no, first one I was a sound engineer. First, let me uh, thank you for everything you said. I I don't know if I'm successful as you said, but it's true. I, I live. Uh, it's my only job. Break is money job. I, I'll talk about music, but just I want to say thank you. You said a lot of things that make make me feel a little bit shy because I'm young. I I'm young in Reiki and I. It's, it's important to say that today we can easily practice and live um, only with Reiki. Just a, it can be our only job because um, a lot of people, as you are, and many uh, Reiki teacher, Reiki searcher, uh, you work very well for um, at least uh, 40 years. And uh, now we just have to read book and to, um, to just... We can do a good teach easily, and everybody know Reiki. So it's true. I'm young, and that's my only job. But it's because of you and the, the people around. So thank you, thank you very much. This is this is very kind. You know, I think Niels Bohr uh, said uh, when he received his uh, Nobel Prize in 
in mathematics or physics, I don't know. He said, we are standing on the shoulders of those who have gone before us. And honoring that is, uh, is a wonderful thing. Uh, thank you for that. That's very kind of you. So equally, like it's, it's confidence inspiring for my generation to see younger generations coming. It's wonderful to um, see the gratitude and the respect you pay to the elder generation. Um, I hadn't finished my introduction quite yet. I was about to say that uh, when uh, Gautier finished uh, his, uh, about 10 years ago, I, I, I guess in mid-20s mid thereabouts, uh, he started to take an interest in the metaphysical side of life, leaving the more rational side uh, behind. And here we are, we are talking about reality today. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, it's more like a, a reconnection because the question of reality always be, were, were my my um, first question since I'm I'm, I'm young. Reiki is like a, an answer, not an answer. There is no theory in Reiki, but this is like a tool. So I could, and maybe others, I guess I'm sure of that. We could more. Um, we call search the, re, the 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 response to that question to that important question easily but is this like a tool or maybe a, we can call it a car so we can drive on this uh invincible invincible uh concept but reality is very very important is this question for me and i'm so happy to to have this talk with you today yes uh i think this is true for any person who is philosophically, spiritually interested in life. And sooner or later, we all are. Uh, the very latest stage uh, is when we fall into a midlife crisis, classically mid-40s or thereabouts, when we remember that there must be more to life than, uh, than the reality of just going to work and so on. Um, and in that sense, uh, and, and I think uh, with the situation as it is in the world today, uh, I keep repeating myself, uh, it, it's, it's confidence inspiring to see um, people on this path searching for answers, philosophical, spiritual answers, which include the answer to the question, what is reality, uh, already in relatively young age. So um, what would be your first answer to the question, what is reality to you? It's silence, and the, there is no, there is no definition. I have a like, it's like my spiritual master. I consider him as one of my master, but we don't have this uh, teacher and master relationship. Is he's a French guy called uh, Eric Barré. I'm not sure you know him. Maybe you know him, but he, he's very inspiring. He's, he's saying we just can talk about what does not exist uh, i believe i believe so reality is in the other side i hear you i hear you also that you're reciting your teacher i'm not really interested in what your teacher says and i'm not really uh, interested in in the kind of wisdoms which we can reach in read in many books but um in your practical life um i'm interested in you uh, and uh, in your practical life, the question about what is reality, how does it, how does this question have an effect in your yeah. daily life? It, it has, it has uh, an effect every time because um, there is no reality for me. I don't believe that what we think to know, what we see around us can be called a reality. You know, just we have five um, uh, physical a way to experiment the world, uh, a feeling, touching, so seeing, uh, hearing, I don't know this word in English, and tasting, you know? And our brain will, uh, uh, classified, will um, put uh, a words, a meaning on every sensation. But that just belief, and I believe that uh, reality can't, it's, it's truth. For me truth truth in the physical meaning truth can be experimented but, but we can't uh, exp express it we can't put a word on truth but we can 
uh, it's like a point ver very far from us, like a stars who follow because it, it gives us, it give us a direction. But what is true today will not be true tomorrow. You, you talk about the, 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 the difference uh, age we have. I'm younger than you are. And, but you were, you had my own uh, age and we were teenager, but, and the reality changed in any time. When I was a teenager, uh, I, I hope I will never uh, go to the 40, 40, you know, this is the word, the, the, the <laughs> but today I'm so happy because I have a, a little bit more experience. I have some uh, belief, you know, that helps me. I'm also an hypnotherapist. I know you, you tell me, don't think about the others, what the others say, but it's like, it's important for me that to, to say that uh, we have a belief in this, uh, 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 in this uh, uh, speciality, the, the, the hypnosis. When you practice hypnosis, you know that you, you are just, uh, uh, you just have belief, belief. There is no, uh, there is bad belief that can uh, injure yourself and the others. There is good belief, but this, this is never the truth. There is a difference between this. I, I believe that. Uh, <clears throat> actually, uh, when I was 16, I guess it's quite young, I, I, I just began to think and to ask me some question back about life. And I said to myself, okay, if there is something I can see, where does it come from? It comes from an another experience you know this uh, cause to the fact that is a new cause for the new fact I, i'm not sure my english is okay but i guess you understand you can follow it so at this moment i thought okay so there is no free will so it was a really hard question at this time and i, I felt like i was in prison at 16 and then i realized that we can't uh fix things with our mental concept and what I, I i was happy to to discover in reiki that you can't do a theory so you say this is real and this is not it depends on the culture and the time you live in, you are living but you can feel things that will uh maybe uh say okay i'm on the good i'm in the good um i'm i am in the the good road the, I, I am following the good path you know and this uh, feeling that we are in the good path mean for me that we are getting closer to something that can be called a reality so there is no definition for me but there is a way to know if we are close or far from the what is real I, I hear you. Uh, you didn't really answer my uh, question, which which was dealing with the reality of your daily life. Uh -huh. um, but fair enough, and and I'm not. It was the first question for the definition. I can. No, no. Uh, let me show you something. I have prepared when I did some some research for our talk. Um, those questions which you just brought up, they obviously pop up. So the question of uh, what is reality and the confrontation with reality, uh, very quickly, uh, when you look for an answer, you get to the topic of time. Um, and generally, time is considered as a chronological uh, uh, accumulation of events, you know, on a time string. Uh, we started uh, 13, uh, 14 minutes ago our conversation, and now we are 14 minutes into it, and we have another 16 to uh, to go. So there's this like this linear uh, idea, and there is a Italian guy. Uh, his name is Carlo uh, Rovelli. Uh, he is a theoretical physicist. And um, he, um, I, saw, I saw a presentation online by him, and uh, he explains that um, time is actually really an illusion, not just in the kind of sense which you described, which is more like a philosophical or a spiritual approach, but he says uh, science looks at the fact that, uh, for example, one of the four factors um, which influence the qualities of time is the height. 
So the higher you are above um, above sea level, um, the more time is available, the quicker time goes. Um, so that's one of the factors. And in his presentation, he presents four of these factors. I will put the link in the description later of this video. Um, and he de deconstructs our concept of a linear time entirely. Um, and other, uh, um, uh, other uh, insights from a scientific point of view have indicated for a long time that the time-space paradigm has come to an end. We need to transcend that and, and reorientate ourselves. So this guy is um, talking about this. He is he's really uh, deconstructing all our beliefs, to use your words, about time. And towards the end of his presentation, he is starting to summarize and he's starting to make a link again to a new understanding of time. And at the end of the presentation, I took a clip, which I want to show you. I solved strange question, deep questions by realizing that we make, a mis we make a mistake when we think that something is there, when it's really in the relation between here and there. Think about one of the most beautiful shows uh, in nature, which is the, the sky that turns around us, right? You see the, the sun going up and going down, the moon going up and going down. If you go out in a, in the, in a night, uh, in a clear night, not in London, you see all the stars that move during the night. They make a, a piece of a circle during the night. In London, probably you don't see any star, I don't know. Um, but you just walk up in the countryside, uh, you have this, uh, wonderful show. And then you ask, why is the universe turning around us? And we have understood. It has taken only 2,000 years, but we have understood why the universe is turning around us. It isn't turning, we are turning. Okay? There's, we sit on a rock, and this rock happened to be spinning, and that's why we see everything turning, because we are... So I think that's uh, pretty much in uh, accordance with what you alluded to, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, very interesting. Thank you for sharing. He's giving a new belief now. And maybe it will be the, the next paradigm. He's playing, explaining a new way to see how world works and explaining that the, 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 the previous, the, 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 la, the, the previous point of view and I enjoy and turn the um, and, and stand, um, understanding what he is explaining what is it what is uh, is very interesting with science is that we can have technology uh, technology we can build technology with it you know with a scientific theory and that's good but um, this is a new explanation and explanation does it it, it can't it, it we can verify it but i'm not sure that this is giving us something more than we since have you know a scientific uh, explanation because explanation is just to have a, um, a new uh, look on the on the on the world but what we we will uh, what will be what will we do with this uh, look is, is what mattered to me. Well, I'm, I'm with you. Uh, but the reality, um, which I just described about like the difference in time higher up uh -huh. in daily life, that has a consequence. Every time we use a navigational system or when we switch on the TV where uh, we receive signals from a satellite, from uh, yeah. further away, from higher up, where there is a faster time. Uh -uh. Um, uh, you, you know, when they first developed the GPS system, uh, or the the, the um, American uh, army, they didn't believe in uh, in the fact that there is more time higher up, or that there is less time if there is movement at the same time. Um, he, they didn't believe in all that, and the navigational system did not work. So this knowledge, the scientific knowledge, is relative for the practical life. 
Um, now, um, I, I am with you, I think, that the question of exploring a new paradigm, what, what if the time and space paradigm has come to an end? What's new? What's the next, the next paradigm, which is unanswered? But I believe that we are actually at the cutting point of having to address these questions in society on so many different levels, be yeah. it political, be it economic, be it scientific, and so on. Uh, and that is in a direct correlation with spiritual answers. Um, so uh, the exploration will give us practical answers which feed our spiritual advancement or vice versa. It will give us an experiential insight and uh, wow, an aha, an awe experience, which in turn uh, stimulates us to, to, to relate uh, in practical life. Do you, are you with me? Yeah, yeah, completely, completely, because it gives us a, a new consciousness. We will change our uh, consciousness, realize that there is something else that we uh, never believe in, we never thought about, it, but it exists. So we will go um, uh, far, far from the, the, the point we are now. It will change our life. But, <clears throat> you know, you're talking about spirituality. What, what is very interesting for me that is that every tradition are in a sort of way talking about what we can see uh, now in the world, you know, all this change. And uh, also what the, the scientific discover now. This, uh, this, uh, this uh, theory you, you just shown me, I never heard about, but there is this uh, common idea now in the, in the scientific world and in the new age world we are uh, into with Reiki is that you we are um, how on thought will um, do uh, have an effect on the experience you know so this is a uh, we, we're living in in a great era today because with technology and we, we can uh, say thank to technology because we can have this share together we will not never think <laughs> and have this occasion to, 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 to share a point of view and maybe build a, a better uh, uh, idea with it without the technology. So thanks to the, the scientific uh, world, we have this. And in the other way, we can see that we are at the end of this world, the technologic one, because there is nothing in, in the ground. We, we just uh, take all the minerals we need to build this uh, very long wire and this computer we have to change this computer okay so we know that uh that's why i'm thinking okay what can give it if we apply the all of these new theory scientific theory will we have enough uh time actually because a, a world is there is no enough um, material uh, uh, um, you know, primary, primary, mat the, the, the things to build everything, every computer, every new technology with this new theory, we don't have enough in the, in the, we're Termini in her on earth and hers is dying. Let's say honestly that, that, so what is interesting for me with this, uh, new understanding, scientific understanding and the whole tra spiritual tradition that today are joining is what we will do in our daily life as you said with this understanding and not only what we uh, will will we be uh, building a new technology so we can do new stuff it's very the, the 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 change inside of the human consciousness that for me will be uh, um something interesting because on our daily life we have to see other things that we see today with all this theory this will change the world you know i'm completely i'm i'm a technology guy i've got my smartphone and a headphone every day i listen music uh, on, on the last one i want the last one I, i'm not, i'm like that i was sound engineer in the music industry so i did not change i'm happy with that but um i'm sure that all this technology give us comfort you know we feel comfortable we have we are safe 
we have uh, the, the, the 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 heat is very the, it's warm enough so we can think we have time because we don't need to 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 die just to for heat at, at it was it was the case there was just a few century life was harder than today so today we have this space so we can change a point of view on the meaning of life and maybe go in, in the other direction what gives us this is technology so we can say thank thank to technology because of the scientific uh, theory but now technology this obsession of having is it's finished we know it we don't want to think about it but we have just a few years living in the same way so we, we have to go back but if we go back if we think about the the past just one century it was very hard very hard so nobody want to go back so my my personal thought about all of this is this and new understanding about what is real the the things this i don't remember the scientific man you i'm very happy you will put the link down the video i will i will i will sh um, go and, and watch it what he explained should change our life not just we be nicer and we drink more water and hit less animals no i guess there is an deep change deeper change that whole of this uh, technology this ability to think uh, to to speak together to have paper end of paper to write many things because we buy it just on the store at the corner store all of these things will allow self to discover something more real that all this reality you know and we we all will all of that are completely sure that we will go through uh like we can call it a door doorway starway i don't know exactly you know and we will discover what is real beside it, the, the, um, uh, um, what is more real that is reality this computer and the safety we will feel I'm sure that this is the the future. Not, I'm not. I don't think that just a new technology will be, but this change in I, our consciousness it can bring. I agree with you. The change of consciousness is uh, existential, uh, existential for humanity. Um, I, if I understand from you, a. Uh, reversal to the past, I don't agree with you. Uh, I think there is no reversal to the past. Uh, and if I heard from you a, a degree of pessimism, I don't share that either. Now, I am not uh, blind to the pitfalls of science. And I certainly don't advocate that science um, uh, is the solution for a better wor world, not at all. Um, I think that science has an interesting take on our reflection, what reality is. And that reflection is an existential, spiritual, mental, psychological, philosophical exercise for the expansion of, um, of consciousness. Yeah. So... Um, uh, I have prepared something else. We are running soon out of time. I mean, you and I are crazy to take reality as a topic for yeah. uh, for thirty this minutes. Is almost, okay, very interesting. Yeah, uh, I want to, and I will change. I will not say anything. I will just show it to you. Have a look.
Oh, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Is that reality? It, it made me feel like that, yeah. You know, reality is like a dream, actually. Just a feeling, something we can say, yeah, this is real. I don't know why, but I feel it. Yeah, yeah, this kind of experience, of course. Mm. And for you, is this real? Yes. Yeah. Very alive, very, blah. Oh. You know, I get goose, goose bumps. I get emotional. I'm, I'm awed by the beauty, by the beauty, when the, when, when the, the, the scene opened up and the music got faster. My heart beat. I mean, that, that, that's also reality, isn't it? This is the only reality we, I can, we, I, I consider it just the only reality it's a feeling for me reality what is real is what we can we can't explain but we know that it is this is real you know there is something something we follow we don't know but we're following a goal all of us not a theory a theoretical goal even a life purpose it can be very mental stuff but we have we don't know what we act every day we don't know why we act every day, but when we found this kind of feeling in in life experience, we know that that was what we were looking for. This is reality for me. Uh, when you when you um, when you saw this, um, uh, I can play it and without sound. When you saw it just a moment ago for the first time, what were your thoughts? What were your feelings? Tell me a little bit yeah no, first i wonder what what it was but you know, you know you do what i i ask to many of my students and they hate to do it it it's hard to do it and then the, i understand them now you you i you ask me to to put words on feeling but the, the good words can be i feel it it made me dream it's it's pure emotion you know pure emotion i i have a a feeling of perfection all the lights are beautiful we can see that light the love is in the air there is harmony it's a feeling you know yeah yeah these are very beautiful last words uh, for the closing um i think you put it very nicely uh, what reality is uh, Cotier, I thank you very much for having joined me in Paris to talk about reality. Thank you, René. Thank you very much for inviting me. I'm very happy to, 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 to share this moment with you. Thank you, too. And uh, in the description, I will also uh, give the information about the dance. I have given no explanations now during the conversation. That will be underneath. Thank you, Cotier, and bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Thank you. Uh, dear viewers, uh, thank you very much for having joined me one more time. Um, I hope you join us again in three weeks' time. Please subscribe. Thank you.